Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Um, to this video today we will be painting these books in a looser style with some flowers and I did do my sketch on just a regular printing paper then trace it onto the watercolor paper using a graphite paper but you don't if you don't have a tracing paper you can use your window especially if you're using a single sheet of paper. For painting, I will be using this Centenaire watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 23 by 31 centimeters or 9 by 12 and a half inches. It is also called pressed watercolor paper and 100% cotton. I'll also use a few of my watercolors that I made myself and a few of colors from this Viviva color sheet. I do love this, colors are very, very vibrant, so you just need a touch of that color to add a beautiful vibrancy to your painting. And for the brushes, I will be using a larger brush. This is just a larger round squirrel brush, a little bit smaller brush, and maybe some in between, I will see later on, but just prepare yourself some round brushes, all, sides, uh, all sizes and shapes. And also I will be using this ink pen. This is from Etcher Inks set. This is number 03. When finished with my sketch, I do want to remove the excess graphite. I was using a graphite paper, so there is some graphite sitting on my paper and I used some kneaded eraser to do that. Afterwards, just picking up a clean water and splattering it all around my paper. On top, I'm adding just some raw sienna, splatters with raw sienna to make it a little bit looser. I've mixed in some turquoise and a little bit of ultramarine, just a actually touch of ultramarine and I have I had some black sitting in my palette so I mixed it all together and get this beautiful blue and then painted in the first book I've just tried to avoid the part where the flower is and everything else around it painted it if you if it makes it easier for you you can use masking fluid but I wasn't using it because it's it is a simpler shape so I do not believe it is necessary a little bit of the splatters, yes, on the left side of my book, I've added just a little bit of the black. And also I did want it to make it looser, so I did add a little bit of that blue color turquoise on the side, just making it look like it bled from the book. Maybe your colors will bleed, so you won't be needing to do that, but mine didn't. And I decided to do to do a little bit to help it a little bit. So now second book with some raw sienna and a little bit of the brown on the left side. Again, just avoiding the part where my flower is. And I do want that book to look a little bit vintage. So I'm just smudging the paint, adding it, topping it and letting it bleed. Now for the third one I have used from Viviva Color Sheets, sap green and just adding that beautiful sap green onto the lower and the upper part of my book, middle part, I do want it to be a little bit lighter, so just a little bit less paint. Again, as you can see, the left side is a little bit darker and the right side a little bit lighter. And for the last book, I've mixed in again some turquoise and a little bit of violet in it to get this beautiful, actually not turquoise, I mixed in some ultramarine and a little bit of violet in it. A little bit of a darker color. This is just some lighter black in between the books where the shadows are. One part of that second book I've used a little bit of light red. So a couple of splatters with the colors I was using, some blue, some black, some yellow. And now just picking up this beautiful deep rose color from again, Viviva color sheet to paint in the first flower. And for the flower, I just, I'm preventing each petal and then on top adding a little bit of the paint. And with the other brush, clean brush, I'm just spreading it around, just smudging it and softening the edges and now again added a little bit more topped in a little bit more of the pigment on the upper part. 
now some greens this is again that sap green and a little bit of green for my palette so when that dried I decided it was all it all became like one blob for some reason the color bled too much one into each other I guess I was adding too much water so I decided to add on top a little bit of the darker pigment same color that's again that deep uh, rose but I've added just a little bit of green in it just to slightly desaturate it and then on top added a little bit more of that mix to make it slightly darker and to well to make it a little bit different than the other part of the petals so we can also make the distinction between the petals a little bit of the green just beneath it and later on when we add our ink it will all come to place for the second flower I've used a little bit of violet and I've added just a pinch of ultramarine in it to, to well I guess to make it something in between bluish color and as you can see I'm using this smaller round brush and just you know you can see not anything particular or regular shapes I'm just with the tip of my brush tipping the petals and and then on the center adding a little bit more of the pigment tape and we are done with our painting process now we're going to start our inking and you will see when we do the ink it will all come together and I'm not trying to make one straight line but I'm just making those lines sketchy and broken I do like it better that way it just I don't know when the lines are too perfect it well it doesn't look loose so I do want to make it a little bit looser so I'm just sketching with my lines making them broken and this is I believe number 03 from Etcher For the flowers I wasn't trying to go around the petals that I painted but rather go all the way and just drew some petals also in the parts where there is no paint. I, I guess I like that even better so that is the reason why I did that. I wasn't trying to stay within the lines of my painting. And then again some embellishments to the book. Just picked up a little bit of that rose sienna but slightly more saturated and painted in some embellishments on my book. This could be some flowers or just some pattern whatever I thought it would look very nice and I decided to add that. same thing on the first book but this one no flowers just a few couple of lines making it look like maybe there is some breakage in a book in the covers of the book some damages and again a couple of splatters with the colors I have used and a little bit of the black splatters and also just a light wash of color in the lower part where the books are standing so to make it look like they're standing on something and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video yes I actually added a little bit of white splatters at the end with white gouache and that is it we are now done I hope you guys like this video and if you do like it please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me maybe even consider joining my channel that's the join next to the subscribe also there's a new feature there some thanks button maybe you can click on that and get a little bit more info about that again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye